Alright, so hello and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial where in this video I'll be showing you how to make this material tag target prompt. And it looks really good, it's very good for tutorials, or showing people how to use your app with very nice design. And uh, it's going to be using this implementation where you can see right here on GitHub. You can make many different kinds, it works for buttons, search bars and everything, but we're going to have to copy this uh, dependency here. And we're going to pay, post it in our build.gradle file. And also, before I forget, because I had to do some research on this by myself, but uh, you need to implement this compile options where it says target compatibility at 8 and source compatibility at 8. And it's important to include this or your app will not work. But after you add that and you sync the project, you can go to your activity main XML. And I'm just going to copy and paste a very simple layout, which is a relative layout with a button and a material floating action button. But I'll explain a little bit more very quickly. So as you can see here, we got the relative layout and right under we have the button with an ID of button underscore button and we have the fab button with an ID of fab underscore back. And here we're going to write button underscore button with a set on click listener and inside here we'll do fab prompt setup, which is a function we have not yet created. And down here we can just create it, so we'll do private function fab prompt setup and we can get started by writing material tag target prompt dot builder with activity of this and we're going to write dot apply. And inside here we can do set target to our fab ID, which is r.id fab underscore back. And we can write set primary text to whatever primary text you want. I did the, this is the primary text. And then set secondary text as a nice description for whatever you're doing. And then we can write a background color. You don't have to do this, but you can. And I just decided to go for an ugly color like green. And after that, we can go straight for set prompt state change listener, which is what happens when you click on the button, essentially. I will write prompt and state. And inside here, we can write if state is equal to material tab target prompt dot state focal pressed, it will trigger the next focal one for the center button, which is a rectangle prompt setup. And I misspelled everything, but we'll fix that immediately. And remember to call dot showdown there. But essentially, you can just copy and paste that. And uh, let's just fix that really quick. So we're going to change the function to rectangle prompt setup. And inside here, we'll set the target to the button, the rectangular button. And then we'll write set prompt background to rectangular prompt background. And we'll do set prompt focal to rectangular or rect yeah, rectangle prompt focal. Now we can change this text to another text and the secondary text to another secondary text and change the caller. And I just completely got rid of the set prompt state change listener. But uh, you can do whatever you want there. It's uh, it's very simple to implement, as you can see. I'm also going to include the documentation into the description because this also works for uh, search bars and other things, as I said before. And they have a very beautiful sample app that you should look into. I will post it in the description. But other than that, that's all there is to creating this very simple uh, target prompt.